Come, students. Obviously, possible. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was an old schoolmate of yours, Piers Pemberton. Oh, I might have known. Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Off on another adventure, are we? <laughs> Revelio. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. When we're done here, I'm going straight to the Hogshead. Or perhaps I'll just go now.
Couldn't bring them. Rebellion. Akiya. You seem strange from your instructions. Don't interrupt. Mind yourself. Understood. Rebellion. Revelio. Solves that. Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. I don't trust Ranrock, I'll tell you that. He'll turn on us first chance he gets. You let things catch your eye too easily, my friend. You need to watch for the bird you set out for. <laughs> Any mere pigeon that crosses your path. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Arrest them!
Revelio. In Guardium Leviosa. Accio. In Guardium Leviosa. Leviosa. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Confringo! Defender! Revelio! Confringo! Revelio! I do hate to ask, but would what you be able to help to me? Now? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> and I've you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Revelio. Lumos. Levioso. Confringo. Defendo. Accio. Imperio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Defendo. Expelliarmus, incendio, compulsor, 
Confringo, defend us. Revelio. Assignment's all finished. Revenue. Arrest them. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Everything's all right now. Rebellion.
thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. thinks you've made marvelous improvements. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Credit where it's due. You're a rather good flyer. I take it you're ready to learn your... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bobada! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time, assured and in control.
Hello, Samantha. Are you here for someone as court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother, until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. My brother's doing well, thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turns out having beat... Akio! What was I thinking? Akio! You'll have to do better than that. Akio! your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. Oh, I don't know why you don't just get... Because I told you, I can transfer... Care to get to one? I'm not ready for Professor Bin's lecture. I got my pillow. In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event: the Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance. Rebellion. 
Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early middle. If you fail history of magic, the you're all of the to bell towers that loom the, above it contain the class, that is. myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Eirgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Cox said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Now, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbald Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the bell tower and... Revelio. Oh, yes. I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buddle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in Candy eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights. All right. These bits of broom are all that's left of a witch called Celine Wartnobby. Keen eyed students will this spot is the a statue of the bundle of the cheerful countenance. in single combat, nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragon. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Have you all gone in another one of 
finishes, Walter. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? Revelio. At least we're out of the classroom. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William, the one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor, Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever, especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My brother's doing well, thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turns out having beat the feet teaches a memorable lesson. I need 
to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion. Yeah. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Well, my feet didn't turn into beats. That's a good start. Revelio. Luma. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. A troll? You can't be serious. Bombarder!
stupid one. Rebellion. Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plans. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plans. Uh, Revelio. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did.